Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. A tale as old as time and a review that seems to have taken just about as long. We are here to talk about uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, we're going to talk about both, both versions of the film um, for two reasons. One, <laughs> it's been so long uh, since I saw either version. Uh, and two, when I first watched the first one, uh, I was planning to do a review with Lauren. Me and Lauren were going to sit down and we were going to talk about it. Um, we kept putting it off because we had things that were going on, uh, things we were doing. So we kept putting it off, putting it off. Then by the time we got around to like, oh, we could do it now, uh, we started um, trying to watch the original because I've never seen the original. Uh, so I saw them backwards and we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, we, we started trying to watch the original. We watched, I watched the original in three bits <laughs> um, because it just that's just how time seemed to work. And then every time me and Lauren have gone to sit down, uh, I've gone to see Lauren and we've gone, we're going to review this together, uh, time just disappears on us and we just completely ran out of time and I had a chance to do it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> not not really worked out for us. So, I have decided to just do it now myself. Um, <clears throat> we went to see the um, new version pretty much as soon as it came out, that week or the week after. It was one or the other. Um... And then a good month or so later, we started trying to watch the original, uh, and I watched that in three bits. Uh, I'd say it's been at least uh, two months since I saw both films. Um, I don't like to do reviews straight away anyway, so it was going to be a couple of weeks after seeing a film that I, I like to review them. Uh, I get a good thought process behind it, I get to like, really think about how I feel about the film before I talk about it. I get to talk about, the, talk about it with other people first as well, which... Uh, is good to me. Uh, I know people that like to upload them straight away. The only the only thing I've really ever done that with uh, is 13 Reasons Why, um, but I've not actually uploaded that yet. That's going to come out with this, <laughs> um, purely for the reason of every time I've gone to upload it, someone I know uh, personally uh, has gone to watch it, and I don't want them to, not saying that everyone that I know personally watches these videos, but I didn't want to click, I didn't want them to click on it halfway through and have it ruined for them, because that's how I do it here, because <laughs> we talk about it, we don't review it, um, so there are spoilers everywhere. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed both versions of the film, um, the, the, the ending of the remake really bugged me uh, and I know it's been a while and I've said it's been a while and I might be getting it wrong but this is how I remember it uh, and I remembered this is how I remembered it as soon as it came out of the theatre because I've been complaining about it since then um, the the bit where um, Belle tells the beast he, that she loves him uh, as the last rose petal falls the last rose petal hits and they start turning back into uh, their like that, what they start turning into what they are becoming. That uh, Cogsworth becomes the Clark Lumiere becomes the lamp, uh, the light candlestick, light stick, <laughs> the candlestick. Like the wardrobe becomes the wardrobe, and everyone starts becoming uh, the pot. Mrs. Potts and Chip become Mrs. Pot, uh, become a teapot and a chipped cup. Um, like they are per the, the the rule was as far as I was concerned. The rule was as soon as that last rose petal hits, and they start turning back into their real their um their new forms, that's it, they're, they're, they're screwed, and they weren't, <laughs> so it sort of, I don't know, it sort of gave me this full sense of, well, like, why did it matter then, <laughs> I, know, I know it was right as it happened, right as they were turning, but they turned, like, I don't know, like, it, it, it's just the way I viewed it, uh, I thought it was a good film. I thought it was really good. I think they should have released it around Christmas because it was a really good pantomime. <laughs> um, I know Aladdin is currently going around a lot. Of, well, was last year currently going around loads of places as a musical um, pantomime, and that seems to do really well. I can see Beauty and the Beast doing the exact same thing. Uh, watching this, I thought it was a pantomime. I thought this is a really good plan pantomime. Really, um, songs were good. Casting was good. Um, yeah, I, I I loved I loved Gaston's song. Uh, ever since I heard it in the um, in that film in the in the remake, I was like, this is a good song. I like this. This is like the song of the musical for me. Um, and then we re, re uh, put my teeth in. Then we were, when we uh, apparently not. Then when we watched the original, um, I didn't I I'd, I'd not heard the song since we watched the uh, the remake. But when we watched the original. I was still remembering most of the lyrics, like, all the time now. 
I always say to Lauren, I use antlers in all of my decorating. We went to Jack Wills. She was like, oh, that's... we went to Nottingham a few weeks ago, and there was like uh, a Jack Wills, and we went in, and she was like, oh, let's go to a Jack Wills. I was like, mm-hmm, okay. We walked around, and there was like antlers on the walls, and I was like, I use antlers in all of my decorating. And she just like walked away, which was awkward. <laughs> um, of the two, I think, I think I prefer the original. Possibly, um, just because it's the original, you can't really beat the original of it. Um, but I'm always going to think of part partially. I'm always going to think of Beauty and the Beast as the remake, in a way. Um, like for Belle, especially Belle. To me, they were both very similar. But I'm always going to remember now Emma Watson as Belle. Uh, she'll always be Hermione to me, but I'll always remember her as Belle if I think of Belle. Um, I preferred the animated versions of the, like, of Cogsworth, Lumiere, Miss Potts Chip, and stuff like that. Um, I think Emma Thompson did a brilliant version of um, the Beauty and the Beast song. I think that was uh, really well done. Uh, but obviously, Angela Lansbury's <laughs> sort of like, that's your, that's your main one. Um, the, the one thing that I sort of preferred from one to the other was um, Gaston and his sidekick man that I don't remember the name of, <laughs> played by Josh Gad. The the, the, the straight away, uh, when we were watching the remake, um, when we sat down, I said, because I saw the name pop up, and then I saw him, obviously. Um, and when I saw him, I went, that's, um, oh, God, I forgot his name already, in Frozen. That's him, Olaf. <laughs> um, that's Olaf in Frozen. I said to Lauren, and Lauren was like, is it? And then he spoke and she went, oh yeah. <laughs> and that was it then, it was Olaf. So to me it's Gaston and Olaf <laughs> um, in that film. Um, both were brilliant in this film and I think I preferred them a little bit more to the ones from the original. Um, so there were bits that I did prefer, but then I preferred the ending in the original one than the one in this one. I think it was to build, Lauren tried to argue it built more suspense um, at the end of the film, but then to me did you need to build more um, more suspense in it? It's A, it's a Disney film. Um, and B, most people have seen the original. I think I'm like one of the few people that watched the newer version before I watched the old one. Um, yeah, so how many people were watching that are going, oh my god, what's happened here? Like, <laughs> uh, how many, like I can't believe this is how it ends. And then, oh no, it doesn't, ever, it's happily ever after, after all, hooray. Like, who who's the ending for? It just didn't make any sense to me at all. I'm... Um, like when it when it happened um, in the in the remake one, I thought Disney had gone crazy in a way. I'd never seen the original, obviously, so like I didn't know how it ended. So I was like, "How did I not know at the end of Beauty and the Beast? Everyone basically dies." <laughs> I was like, "This is crazy! Like this should be talked about more." And then all of a sudden they weren't, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that was a bit random." Um, and then we watched the. Uh, original afterwards and I was like okay this makes a lot more sense like <laughs> this this makes a lot more sense like I don't need the suspense I'd, I'd prefer you to stick to an ending if you're going to go to it um the openly gay character thing that was a bit of a controversial thing was it was nothing it was a nothing thing to me um the fact they were openly gay didn't really make a difference to the film and it didn't really affect my enjoyment of the film if anything, it helped, <laughs> because I was like, finally, we can sort of embrace this, and it's not as hidden as it seemed to be, uh, which I was happy about. So, I enjoyed both films. I would have preferred to watch Beauty and the Beast around Christmas, because I'd have been like, this is like a panto, uh, and I think it would be a brilliant pantomime. Um, the original is always going to be the best one. Like, anything they remake, to me, I can't see that being better than the original. Bar, possibly, The Lion King. <laughs> um, I can't wait to watch that with Donald Glover, James Earl Jones. Sounds like it's going to be amazing already, just on those two being cast. Um, but for me, I never I never grew up watching any of the older Disney films. Like, Toy Story and stuff like that is where I sort of joined in uh, to the Disney franchise. I was, I'm sort of a Pixar kid and everyone else is Disney. So I'm only just getting around to watching all the original stuff, which is crazy to people. <laughs> um, absolutely insane to people. I don't know why I've never watched them. Um, so I'd never seen The Lion King. I went to see um, The Lion King at uh, in London on, on stage in theatre, and that was the first time I ever watched it. My definitive Lion King is now the theatre version. Uh, I went to see the original one when they re-released it in 3D in the cinema, and I was like, it's okay, it's pretty good, but my mind was absolutely blown when I watched it in the theatre, and that's that now. That is my favourite version of The Lion King. 
Um, so the remake of that could outdo the original Lion King for me, but we'll have to see because they're, they're not getting a... Not many people are huge, huge fans of them, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, this... This is pretty much it. It's pretty short. It's pretty... Well, short. For me, it's short. There's not much I can really talk about because it's been so long. I just wanted to share how I felt about it. But that's what we're doing this. We talk about things. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And the, fingers crossed, group of videos I post when I post this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again in the next one.